everybody and welcome it's uh, Jada here in Las Vegas and today we are cooking that's why we are in the kitchen how are you guys uh, doing I am Jada Valenti of course as I said it's uh, 2 p.m. in the afternoon today it's raining here in Las Vegas has never rained at Jada Live ever since I started I will tell you in a second it's more than seven months because you know, we started with 150 episodes in September. We celebrated the every day. So uh, I, in this uh, seven months together, and under, more than 150 episodes, I've learned that you guys are watching from all over the world. So I know it's 5 p.m. for you guys watching on the East Coast of the United States, 4 p.m. for you guys in Central America. I know for you guys in Europe, quasi tempo di andare a dormire because it's... Um, 11 p.m. at night, ore 23 in Italia, 22, one hour behind in London and in Ireland, and there's always people appearing from there. So welcome to you too. And I've learned that it's early in the morning for you guys in Australia. So buongiorno a voi che ci guardate dall'Australia. Good morning to all of you friends from Australia. I see a lot of uh, people of the circle of love. 
the people that have been watching the Jada Live ever since we started. Welcome to you and also welcome to all the new people. Should you be new and watching for the first time, you are welcome to the Jada Live. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, let us know where you're watching from and uh, if you are watching for the first time, also where are you? Where is home for uh, you? So uh, if you're new, you may not know that I am Jada. I am a singer and a songwriter. I used COVID to learn a uh, sign language uh, because my friend Diane Fiorentino and Sal, they told me that uh, they have a son who is deaf and they told me how wearing masks had made uh, very difficult for people that cannot hear, uh, difficult to understand. So I decided to educate myself and all of you watching to learn some sign language. This is the sign language uh, thing. So I am learning some sign language. I, I speak very little, but hey, it's enough. I know enough to say that hello and welcome. And then today I am cooking something delicious for all of you uh, watching, all of you, which are, you are friends and family of the circle of love. So guys, uh, what's on the schedule today? Uh, a few things, but first let me also welcome uh, um, the people that maybe are still watching from Italian Living. You know, every Thursday I appear on uh, Italian Living with an Italian episode. They are uh, friends of mine, Richard Micheli uh, owns this page and they promote the fine living and luxury portal to the charm and elegance of the Italian lifestyle. I never ask you guys of the circle of love if you haven't just like that page as well because if you're watching me it's because you love music and you love anything and everything Italian and you find everything Italian in uh, that page only the excellence of Italy it's over uh, there of course on Tuesday uh, I did for many times interview and I'm gonna pick it up uh, in the next couple of weeks as I told you the day before Thanksgiving I'm gonna have Marie Osmond as my guest and also have a special guest next week uh, and actually I'm gonna have two special guests next week I will uh, I will surprise you uh, in a few seconds and tell you who they are of course uh, on Saturday I cook and on Sunday I am a singer and songwriter I uh, love to sing I have this special page called patreon patreon.com slash Jada Valenti that's where you can gather we have to subscribe to the page which costs you a minimum of one dollar so it's not that much but it's a uh, uh, will help me to pay for uh, maintain that page alive and every Sunday we sing you see I put on the green screen in my office uh, the places where I have performed that I cannot be there there was uh, La Fenice in Venice we have been to Carnegie Hall we've been to Royal Halbert home as we like it to call it I don't know where I will be appearing last Sunday we were at La Scala from Milan so tomorrow I don't know where we are going we had special team Sunday we had the Bird Baccarat's music we had a lot of fun every Sunday Sunday, I'm learning new song and singing for you original songs because I'm very happy to say that during this COVID-19 in the last couple of weeks I was also able to go back to the studio and record many new songs with my friend Paul Humbach just as, as they call demo of original songs and then I'm gonna be shopping around and having a, available for you and of course if you are on my Patreon every Sunday I sing to you uh, one of those uh, new songs yesterday was a very special day also because yesterday my uh, new Christmas uh, single was available What Child Is This featuring Paul Humbach and uh, Volhix, which is Vulcan uh, uh, Can Cabriolet on violin, and uh, it's available on uh, Apple Music, Spotify, and Amazon Music. I know many of you text me, call me, and uh, email me. We have it, we have it, we love it. So, thank you very much. Thank you so much for downloading my. Um, my uh, video uh, my music you still can do it you can do it in all those page and um, it's November uh, last Thursday I told you everything about the month of November the origins of the name and everything and uh, November is also going to be special because next Saturday I'm gonna also be uh, one of the honorary of uh, the Garibaldi Meucci Museum they do an annual virtual fundraising luncheon this year it's the 32nd one so they've been doing it for 30, 30 32 years and it's going to be at 2 p.m. East, as you see. Uh, they will be honoring me. I will give an accepting speech. So if you want to join me, I know many of you of the Circle of Love have already bought your ticket. You can do it and you will be watching me doing my accepting speech. Uh, of course, November will go so fast, like all the months during this COVID-19. And it's going to be December and December. You, it's not save a day anyma anymore. It's just buy your ticket. I will be doing a Christmas concert. Yes, my love under the Christmas tree. 
a pay-per-view virtual Christmas concert is happening. I cannot be uh, around the country to do it like every year. So this year I will be doing it from here, from Las Vegas, from the beautiful house of a dear friend of mine, Elena Beninato, with the support of Roger Scallion and Diane Fiorentino. Uh, and uh, we are, Elena is already decorating the house. It's going to be like a Christmas spectacular. Her house is beautiful. I went a couple of days ago to watch actually that she had red carpets for me to walk in and to perform. I mean, it's going to be magnificent. Elena has a grand piano in her um, in a in a hall in the hall in the entrance of the house, and so you have to buy your ticket. To buy your ticket, you can go on jadavalenti.com and you push there the button. I know many of you already did it. So guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, of course, there is some also some special tickets, right, JJ? There is the normal ticket, and then there are some VIP tickets that will have extra sounds, and you can buy them separately so you can buy the normal ticket one and then when, when you want to have like uh, the old things you can always buy the extra tickets uh, uh, later just grab your tickets and you're going to be sitting in the warm of your house wherever you are in the world here in Europe in South America in Australia wherever we are we're all going to be together we're going to be all connected for Christmas and singing Christmas carols together of course, if you're watching and you're new and you haven't done, done it, please, please, please like my Facebook page that you see the like. Please push like and like my page if you haven't done it. It's the page where you're watching this video. And if you're watching from YouTube, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. And uh, please, please, please do that. Subscribe and like my page. And uh, today we are in the kitchen because as always, today is the day that we are cooking something delicious and making some uh, delicious cocktail. But before of that, I wanna wish happy birthday to something very dear and special for me and for all of you of the Circle of Love. If you've been with me, you have seen it for many time. Our father, Jimmy Valenti, is not related by blood by me, but we became friends through the Jada life uh, there in California. He had this little girl, her name is Jada, little Jada. And you saw her cooking and last Thursday was her birthday. Look at her, she turned six years old. We can say old because she's so young. Look how cute she is. And yes, she made a famous popperdelle with uh, the mushrooms that I made two Saturday ago. Jimmy said she made it, she loved it. And you see that little Jada, she was even crashing the walnuts in the garden to prepare the pasta. Do you remember? It was with uh, was a, one, one of my favorite, the delicious pasta pappardelle with uh, mushrooms and walnuts. If you haven't seen that episode and you want to make the recipe, it's super delicious. You can always go on Jada on uh, jada.live. So jada.life and you can catch all the episodes and you can see the recipe. So happy birthday, dear Jada. Six years old for you. Old is a good word for you. You are such an amazing little girl. And thank you, Jimmy, for sharing the beauty of little Jada with me and all the story. He always shares everything that Jada does. Um, uh, last Thursday, actually, it was a special episode, was World Sandwich Day. Yeah, you know, we try to keep up with those these days de dedicated to food it was world sandwich day and if you have watched the episode i took you all around italy from north to south to talk about the panini that's how we call sandwich in italiano panini from pane which means bread and if you saw the episode we really went everywhere i mean the panino con la porchetta this is one of my favorite uh, we had it that's from the region of rome the capital of italy but we went also to the tramezzini that's one of the chubby one from my own uh, hometown from venice and remember and i told you that there are also some tramezzini on the other side on the uh, on the west side of italy from piemonte but they are completely different you see they have a different shape same idea Sometimes the same feeling, different shape, but we went also to the south, we went to Naples, uh, we went, uh, here is Parma, of course, the Piadina, we went to Emilia Romagna, what else, JJ, where did we go? We, we, we traveled the whole booth of it. One of my favorite again, Milan with the Michetta con la Mortadella, do you remember? Oh yes, I'm watering in my mouth already. And we went, of course, to the Cinque Cinque, to the Cinque Cinque in Puglia, remember? They call it the five and five delicious michetta that is made with chickpeas. Then we went, uh, yes, we went to the Panelle of Sicily. 
Yes, remember you can eat them with bread but, or seasoned bread, but even without, we went, of course, to Puccia um, in the Salentino, of course, in, uh, in Naples with the pizza bread. What else did we go? We went everywhere. Oh, the panuazzo, salchiccia, broccoli, also from Naples. So I took you all over Italy and you guys were uh, so loving it. And actually, I made some of you, many of you hungry because I was receiving texts and messages. Oh my gosh, I am starving here. So fell... So much so that Roger, the day after, our Roger Scallion, uh, one of my dearest friends here in Las Vegas, he sent me, the day after he couldn't resist, he went for a sandwich and he sent me, he texted me this picture and he said, in honor of your show yesterday, I decided to have a sandwich for lunch today. This is a Parisian sandwich made to go from Cured and Way, which is a place here in Las Vegas that we have to go apparently, ciabatta roll, apple brie and jambon, which is French ham, delightful roger he said the french version of a ham and cheese looks delicious he said sorry i had to add a bite i said apparently it was irresistible he couldn't wait to take a picture he had to take a bite and remember i told you that a ham and cheese is the most popular sandwich in the united states and that is the french version of it with brie oh and jambon french prosciutto to die for so yes roger i want to go to that place one day soon uh, and have lunch and panini with you so this is what happened today also by the way i show you thursday is you remember i told you today is hug beer day this is my bosley i told you the story last thursday it's very special to me it was given to me was seven years ago JJ already seven years ago when I was in New York City in the hospital for the whole month and my circle of love my angels they from all over the world they they chip together and they bought Bosley and they send it to me Bosley why Bosley do you remember the Charlie's Angels I call my fans angels and the protector of the Charlie's Angels was Bosley so he was my Bosley was protecting me and he did his job because I got my health back and I'm back and every day is in my couch and today is hug a bear dear. If you don't have a stuffed bear, you can hug somebody you love. So I, I'm going to hug also JJ today. It's my living bear. So orsetto di peluche, we call it in the house. So it's an orsetto and today is hug a bear day. Abbracciamo un orsetto. La giornata degli abbracci agli orsetti. So let's do that. Are you guys doing that? I hope you're doing that. What else? I think I said everything and uh, I think it's time to make, uh, uh, to put my water on first of all because I'm, I'm going to be cooking my water. Of course, I have already made my sauce. You're going to see it in a second. What am I cooking today? We are cooking today pasta with bacon and yellow squash, which is a fantastic, delicious, super delicious recipe for the fall and the winter. Also because uh, we can find out uh, the yellow squash but also the pumpkin you can also use pumpkin if you uh, if you prefer you want to use the yellow squash you can use the pumpkin as long if, even a zucchini you can use anything from that kind of category you can use but before that we always make a cocktails so today i decided to take you to a cuba to go to a warm place it was raining in uh, in uh, las vegas and we are making something uh, that is called blue kiss here yeah, it is, the Midnight Kiss, sorry, I, I call it Blue Kiss, also some, some people call it Blue Kiss, but it's the Midnight Kiss, of course, I love the colors, and uh, I'm sure, I don't know yet if I'm gonna like the cocktails, but I already like the name, in sign language, the cocktails of today is called Midnight, Midnight Kiss, so Midnight, this is the Midnight, and this is the Kiss, all sign I've learned this morning, thanks to my friend, Thanks to Diane, which I do love our Diane, and I know you guys love too. So I prepared, you know, I got a new computer from uh, Roger Scallion a few weeks ago. So now I'm able to um, do more stuff with my computer and prepare everything fast, 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 fast. So it's time to make a cocktail. And this is going to be from now on our way to have our cocktail time. Let's go. Ooh, let me be your guide. Did you like it? It's a party night, yes. It's a night for some of you. It's party time and afternoon here in Las Vegas. So from now on, you're gonna have those, they call it bumpers. In television world, they call them bumpers, these little kind of things that introduce things. And you're gonna see many of them. I'm gonna switch and match them every minute, every week. It takes me a few minutes to make it. So let me know if you like it. And that song that you heard on the bumpers is called Party Night. And it's one of the song, original song I have written many years ago in Denmark, together with a duo of songwriter that wrote those. Do you remember the song? I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Yeah, they wrote that song and they wrote also this song, Party Time With Me. 
which basically I have never, I mean, I've never sang it myself because it was not my kind of song. It was recorded by other artists and I have to uh, play the whole song for you one of these days because it's a very, very fun song. So without further ado, party time, we're going to make the cocktail. So here I have my uh, shaker filled with ice. I have to read out to make it because you remember I'm not such a heavy, heavy a drinker. Yes, it's called the Midnight Kiss. And the ingredients are vodka, blue curacao, lemon juice, prosecco, and you have to rhyme your uh, glass with some uh, orange slice and sugar, color sugar, whatever sugar you want to have. And uh, those are the ingredients. So just for you to know, you know, I always like to know what I'm making. This cocktail, the Midnight, uh, the midnight um, Kiss, is a variation of something called the Daiquiri, which is uh, an, a liquor that originated in... We're going to go in a second. It originated in Cuba, for sure. But uh, Daiquiri is also the name of a beach in Cuba. Look at that beach. Can you imagine? To have, it's almost the color of the cocktails I'm making. But it's also a name of an iron mine in Santiago de Cuba. And the word Daiquiri comes for the Taino. So this that I'm making today is a variation of that. I uh, was very curious to know where this kind of liquor came from. So... You know, I always want to know a little bit. I try to educate and learn every day something new while my water is cooking here. So there are several different stories. Nobody knows. But basically, one said that he originated in, in 1800 in Cuba and was created as a medicine, a medicine for the soldier. They were fighting a war. They didn't have other uh, alcohol. And they were using this kind of uh, alcohol with lemon juice to keep the soldier better, probably to make them drunk so they were forgetting about the pain. Another story, though, says that actually was an American that invented. It was an American mining engineer named Jennings Cox, who was in Cuba at the time of the Spanish-American War. And uh, he had a, a visit of USA Congressman uh, William Chandler, and he tasted this liquid that Cox had made, and Mr. Chandler loves it, and came back to New York. He was from Rhode Island. He went to New York, and they start to serve this cocktail only in New York for several, several years. Um, you know, originally, I also learned it was served in a tall glass pack with cracked ice. A teaspoon of sugar was poured on the ice, and some lemon juice was squeezed on top of, his, of it, of course, with a lot, a lot of uh, room. So the consumption of the drink remained localized in New York, as I said, until 1909, when the USA Navy uh, medical officer Lucius Johnson, they even have name for those people, he tried the Cox drink that, uh, that the congressman had brought from Cuba to New York, and he loves it, and he brought it inside the Army and Navy Club in Washington, D.C. And they started to drink this uh, alcohol called the Daquiri. Another story tells, actually, that in the same, around the same time, there was a general, a fat general, General Shafter, that uh, went uh, to, uh, to Cuba. Apparently, he was very fat and very un unhandy, not very handy, let me lower my water, not very handy, but he was a food lover. And of course, he loved the booze. So he tried the booze and he loved it. And apparently, he's the one who said, why put in water on it? The only thing that is missing is ice. So he's the one that put ice cubed inside the daquiri. Well, so we don't know uh, for sure who invented it. For sure, he originated in Cuba. The origin, you see, have all kinds of colors and different stories. For sure, it's a very popular um, alcohol. And it was uh, Ernst Hemingway's favorite uh, things to drink, the daquiri. There is already actually existing a daquiri. That's uh, Ernst Hemingway. You know, he loved Venice. That's why I love Ernst Hemingway. And he was a heavy drinker of this one. Actually, he had his own uh, cocktail, Da Quiri, that was called uh, uh, Double Da Quiri because he liked the double amount of uh, room inside. And he was always drinking it in this place in Havana called Florida Bar. They still have uh, all kind of uh, stuff uh, rem that remembers the visit of, uh, you see there on the corner, there's Mr. Hemingway. And uh, the, the Hemingway, we should make it a, a couple of, uh, one time here in the Jedi Lights because he was also with maraschino cherry and grapefruit. So it was a variation of the Daquiri. There are many variations. And coming to America, it was also the favorite drink and cocktail for uh, J.F. Kennedy. You know, I found the pictures of Mr. J.F. Kennedy drinking one. So 
The drink also, if you want to know more, became very popular in 1940 in the United States during World War II and the rest of the world. And here in America, it became popular because Franklin D. Roosevelt, uh, the president at the time, started something that was called the good neighbor policy. So even though uh, they could not have uh, um, easily uh, whiskey and vodka because of the, the war, they could have the room from the South America. So and it started to um, be served more and more in the United States and it became very popular. And I also learned that this daiquiri is very similar to something that you guys in England called the grog and was something that the British were drinking during, uh, in the boats. In, in the Navy, they must have been all drunk because they had something actually in, 19, in 1780, so in 1700, called the grog in, uh, in England. Roger, you are from London. And the Royal Navy was serving this kind of room water and lemon, lime and juice and two ounces of sugar. And uh, it was very uh, popular in the boats during in the Navy also for the British people. I mean, people must have drank like crazy. So if you wonder like me, what is the difference between, because I said to JJ, this is very similar to the margaritas that I made. And also they're very similar. The only difference is of course that this one, the daiquiri has room and the margarita, of course, have the tequila and, of course, uh, lime juice and triple sec, which is an orange kind of liquor. And I've also learned that very popular kind of uh, taquiri is the caipirinha. Caipirinha is, let's say, this is from Cuba, and caipirinha is this, the version of that query from uh, Brazil. And why am I mentioning that? Because, you know, I'm not an avid drinker. Actually, I don't drink. Let me put some salt in my pasta. I don't drink, I don't drink much uh, um, alcohol at all, but uh, once when I was 18 years old, I got drunk in Switzerland while I was performing because somebody gave me the caipirinha to drink and I thought it was delicious. So I uh, drank it and I don't remember nothing of that night. The musicians that were playing with me, they said that I was sleeping on the bongos for the whole night. I might have had, I don't know, four or five glasses of caipirinha it tasted like lemonade with lemon juice. It was delicious and sweet. And I mean, it was there. I could have it. I had it. And the rest, and that, that, that was actually the moment that I said, okay, drinking, it's not for me. But maybe we should make the caipirinha one day because it's apparently very good. So my water here for my pasta, it's boiling. Before we do that, let's make the cocktail. So here we go, the midnight kiss. So we're going to need some vodka. This is the Seinfeld vodka. We are gonna uh, need some uh, blue uh, liquor, which come from Cuba. This is how you spell Cuba, C, U, B, and A, thanks to Diane. And then you need some lemon juice, and then you need some Prosecco, which is a sparkling Italian uh, kind of wine. We are it is, so here is my glass. Pour some glass, they say in a cocktail shaker here it's my eyes what do i need to do i have jj always watching me i need to take the vodka vodka is russian the vodka kind of so which kind of vodka i'm having this smirnov where is smirnov from russia probably it's russian vodka so we're gonna put all the vodka because it's one oz so i'm gonna put it all in here jj i hope i'm doing it right because jj is always panicking but i'm making my thing he's the one drinking it you know so the vodka, then this is the alcohol that uh, you have to put in. It's uh, with orange. It's called the uh, um, blue curacao, apparently, because it comes from curacao. JJ said just a drop, so I'm going to put it in here, just that you see. Just something like that. More than enough. Look at the color. This is the colors of the beach of curacao that, uh, that I show you. The Cuba beach. Look at this color. And it's made like orange. It smells delicious. Let me around this stuff because I need to cook over there. What else? What else? I have to put just a drop of lemon juice. Lemon juice. Lemon juice. Here it is. Just a drop. Vitamin C, JJ. So two drops of uh, things and then of course I have to shake it, right? So today I'm shaking it differently. I put the ice inside and I'm going to shake it like this. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And before I pour it in the glass, let me put my uh, water inside there, my pasta. Where did I put my pasta? Here is my pasta. So my water is boiling. I'm going to pour the glass. So let me put the water in there. It needs to cook for five minutes. 
Here we go. If you wonder why I'm cooking in this small pot, it's because I, the big one that I have doesn't work on this kind of stove. But if you have a bigger one, put it on a bigger one. More water, better for the pasta. So my pasta is cooking here. And I shake my liquor here. Let me clean it up. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to pour these things in the glass first, like JJ. Oh, you put some uh, sugar on the rim of your glass. I put uh, yellow and blue. Wow. I really like this one. Look at this. Me like it very much. I don't know if I like the liquor, but I do like the color. I do love the color. So, when you do this one, it smells like orange. Funny enough, even though it's blue. Okay, done with that. Let me put this one there. And I'm gonna have my uh, Prosecco, right? I use in this one of Bosco del Merdo. You remember, guys? We talk about this wine a lot with the Java Life. And I'm gonna fill the glass, JJ. That's JJ. Ooh. So mine is gonna have less than that. Oh, and my water here. Let me put a little stone that my friend gave me. So here we go. It looks great. You know me, I only gonna be zip it. I'm not really gonna be drink it. And uh, you can decorate, I don't know if you can say decorate with uh, some orange on the rim of the glass, like that. JJ, that's yours, and this is mine. So, this is the Midnight Kiss. Guys, can you see the color? It's kind of delicious, so we're gonna have a chin chin while my pasta is uh, cooking. JJ, this is yours. Enjoy. I'm gonna hug you later. JJ is my living teddy bear. And we lower the water. So my pasta is cooking here. As I said before, if you have a bigger, bigger thing with water, please do so. I use today, I'll show you in a second which kind of pasta. You can use any kind of short pasta, but I use today this funny one that I never use. It's called the Jill leaf. So I'm gonna try my cocktail first. So chin chin is a hug a teddy bear day. I'm gonna tell you how is my midnight kiss. This is like the caipirinha, actually. You can get drunk without even knowing because it's sweet, it's fun, it's colorful. So drink in moderation. If you guys make it, I think already the colors is delicious. So I'm gonna leave my um, cocktail in there just because I like it. And my pasta is cooking. It needs five minutes to cook the thing. You see, they give me some drink and I forget all about it. And by the way, I want to thank uh, uh, my friend Mary Lou and Bob. Uh, uh, are they there, JJ? Are they watching? So. so guys, if you're there, I want to thank you because all the food that you see that I'm cooking was bought to me by them. And last week, we had, that's me with Bob and Mary Lou and JJ. We had a, a delicious dinner last week. We had a fish. I had a, a delicious tuna. And they are so kind that when they go shopping for their food, they always ask me what I need and they shop all this delicious food for me, you know, I'm out of work and I'm still waiting for my unemployment. Many of you were wondering, no, I haven't got it yet. I applied four months ago, but thanks to Elena, we are trying to, to see if we can uh, reach the governor and see what is the situation, where is my unemployment? I need some money, but I'm blessed that I have many of you helping me with donations and everything. I don't know if Doug is there. Doug has been a great help. Mary Lou and, uh, and, and, uh, and Bob, of course, they buy food for me. And so does Diane. Uh, she does donations. Roger is the main sponsor of the Christmas concert. So I love you for that one. Janet, you also always send me also all kind of things. Uh, uh, Antonio, you also buy the cups. Uh, uh, there is Wes and Gina. Wes gave me this uh, little thing stove to cook so I don't have to cook there so you guys can see what it's happening. So thank you guys. And they're also part of my team. Awesome. Who else is there? Let me see. Mary Gigante. Mary, you, you, you are not part of my Patreon. You have to join me there. I see Antonio Argentieri. Our, our pastry chef, Singreen pastry chef, that even bought one of the Giada Valenti cups that Neil Portnoy made for me, and he's all the way there in uh, where he's from. Who else is there? Uh, I see a lot of new people. I see Linda Marie Scaffoldi stole. Where are you from? I see a lot of new people. I don't know. I see Doug. Doug bought the mixer. 
That's why every Sunday I uh, can sing for all of you. So you guys have been amazing during this uh, COVID-19. As I said, COVID-19 has been a year that, uh, uh, that I will remember. We will all remember COVID-19. But for me, it will be also here. I have discovered that uh, there are so many amazing people in, in my life. And uh, you know who you are, uh, each and every one of you. So today I decided to cook this short pasta. You can choose any kind of pasta. I chose this one. It's an organic Italian artisan pasta called Gigli from Trader Joe. You know, I shop there all the time. I thought it was a perfect shape, but you can use any kind for this recipe, any kind of a short pasta. This one I bought it uh, several times. They have different shape, but that brand is, uh, is, is delicious. So let me see if the pasta is cooked because we need to make it al dente yes um, my pasta is ready I am gonna put stop this thing so I'm gonna put the water out of it and I'm gonna show you how I made the sauce for this delicious pasta so <clears throat> It's very easy to make, but it takes you like 20-25 minutes, that's why I prepare it in uh, advance. So while uh, I'm, I'm having the pasta here and I take my sauce, I show you how to make the sauce. I made it this morning, so JJ, you can start the video so they can see. So olive oil, of course, in your pan. And you put it over there, yes, exactly like that. And you take an half of an onion in a small uh, pieces. And voila, you let it saute for a few minutes. Of course, a yellow squash in a small piece. There you go. And uh, you let it cook uh, uh, for a few minutes, of course, and you had the rest of the ingredients. One is the smoked bacon finely cut. I Please use the smoked. It gives a very extra taste to your sauce. You cut it in small pieces and voila, you let it, uh, you mix them all together. At that point, you are going to put some fresh rosemary. Yes, you can use the dry one, but I do like uh, the fresh one. Fresh vegetable are always the bell and even the herbs, the fresh are the best. So you add it to your mix, you cook them together. Of course, you're going to add to taste some salt and black pepper this time, not chili pepper. I like the black one. Uh, in moderation both of them of course you had some little water and at this point you are just gonna uh, close the uh, cover up and let it cook for 20 minutes add some extra water if it's not enough and you're gonna notice that uh, the squash uh, uh, it's uh, gonna be uh, uh, becomes like a cream and as I said, you can use uh, the yellow squash, which is the yellow squash is this one, but you can also use the pumpkin. So, and when it's cooked for the 20 minutes, you know what I forgot? I forgot to, to play the bumpers, the, the bumpers when we start cooking. I played when we are done. So, so I can show you. So it becomes like this, it becomes like a, a creamy. Actually, I had to do this one, little pieces of yellow squash because I like also the crunch of the squash. So at this moment, you know, I cook my pasta. And you saw how to make the sauce, so easy it is. You're gonna put the sauce inside here. It smells delicious, guys. The onions and the ring. And if you use, of course, the pumpkin, it's gonna be orange. This is the season of pumpkin, so it's gonna be more kind of orangey. You're gonna put inside your warm pasta. Uh, here we go. Remember, I use the Gigli pasta, but you can use any kind of pasta you want. This is always the moment when I wish you guys were here with me. While I turn the pasta around, JJ, can you play the, pumper, the bumpers that I was supposed to play in the beginning while I'm preparing this? So this is what I'm gonna, you guys are going to get now when I'm cooking. So here we go. Show it there, JJ. pizza turning around that was perfect of course this is gonna happen normally I have to get used to my new tradition now it's gonna be happening before I cook so here is my pasta guys it smells delicious the smoked bacon is just out of this world and at this moment easy done it you take your plate 
uh, you all just need to add some Parmesan cheese. What I do with this pasta, I like to put to grate some Parmesan cheese on the bottom of my plate. So when I put my pasta on top of it, I can put the Parmesan on top and on the bottom and it's gonna be everywhere. So you just put your pasta in here. I've been very generous with portion. Yes, if it's too much, you can save it and you can warm it up or eat in cold. I know that some of you of my circle of love like to eat the pasta even cold for breakfast. Right, Diane? <laughs> Diane, sometimes she texts me, she said, I'm having pasta for breakfast. I'm like, that's your Italian gene. So we don't spill anything. This is a big portion, but there is a vegetable and everything. So you just put some Parmesan cheese. Let me move this one. Some Parmesan cheese also on top of it. Mmm, guys, this is just like delicious. It's perfect for this uh, time of the year, of course. For the people that are in South America, it's like May for you. Still, you can make it. It's not summer yet, so you still can make this uh, pasta. And here it is. It's super delicious. It's, I show you guys. Can you see it? This is the moment where I wish you guys were here with me. I'm gonna give one to JJ, of course. I remember, maybe just, maybe just remember for one second, JJ, the ingredient to make this pasta, some of you were asking, and I will post them all on YouTube one of these days. I have the new computer now, I can make this video. So it's a pasta with bacon and yellow squash, and it's yellow squash, short pasta, smoked bacon, small onions, spring rosemary, butter, Parmesan cheese, extra virgin oil of oil, and salt and paper. You have noticed, if you noticed, I didn't put butter on it. It's there in the ingredients. This is one reason. The original one, you put also butter. I never do because the bacon has a lot of fat here in the United States. It's more bacon than, more fat than meat. So when you cook the bacon, there is going to be, beside the olive oil, a lot of fat from the bacon. So you don't need to put, if you are in the United States, you don't need to put butter if you are in europe the bacon is more lean then you can put the butter jj this is yours bon appetito a te bon appetito to jj speaking up the plate behind the camera i'm gonna taste and see if this one is good let me have a bite and make sure that i take some of the bacon uh bacon guys are they saying anything oh yeah let me see it's very delicate it's very winterish it's um I mean, the smoked meat, of course, is uh, is uh, is just good. What is uh, Jenny said? I love the music. Oh, I'm glad you love the music. So we're gonna have more. You mean the bumpers, right? And by the way, the bumpers on uh, when I'm cooking, there's my there's a remix of one of the my most success, successful song that I have ever written. It's called Libera, which means free. I've never sang it to you. There was a remix done in uh, in Holland, in the Netherlands. And the song, of course, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. It's a beautiful song. And that song, when I release it in the in, uh, in Netherlands, uh, was on high rotation of all the radio. So I have good memories. We filmed a video clip in Rome and um, every time. And I found it when I was making the bumpers, thanks to the new computer that Roger, Roger gave me, I thought, that's the perfect music. So guys, I see also Ana Maria Corillo is with us. Ana Maria and Mike, guys, I missed you. Where have you been? I see also Mike there. I miss you. I miss you. I never seen you also on the circle of love. I see Elena over there. Looks delicious. Yes, you have to make it. Elena, one day we have to cook together. By the way, one of these days, yes, we're going to be also doing, if you are on Patreon, we're going to be trying, since we are doing the concert at Elena's house in December, we have decided to do one, probably an, a, pat, a Patreon Sunday, and maybe we're going to do also a cooking Saturday, I don't know, from the house of Elena, so we can check uh, the connections of the camera, so stay tuned, one of these days, Jada Live is going to be on location, yes, on location, still in Vegas, but in the house of Elena and Frank, and Rocco, Rocco, I have to show you a, a picture next time, they have this amazing dog that um, is a big, big dog. It's sweet like sugar, and I love to play with him. He's very educated. He's, uh, he's, he's you know, it's, it's better than a human being. You ask him to do things, and he does it. And he's afraid of uh, vacuum cleaners. He's, he's big, like, you know, it's a big, it's sweet, sweet, sweet. So, Jada Live will be on location. I'm going to be enjoying my lunch. I hope you're going to make this pasta. If you do, please take pictures and send it to me. Uh, thank you, Diane, for the new signer today. I love my midnight kiss and this delicious pasta that I made today with yellow squash. 
and what else JJ oh yeah you can uh, of course I always forget the music the music you can uh, listen to my music if you like my music I know many of you do on Spotify on Amazon and Apple Music which was the old iTunes and please 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 download my new Christmas uh, uh, song that was uh, is available since yesterday what child is this together with uh, Paul um, Humbuck on guitar and vocals and uh, Vulcan Can Cambriolet on violin and everything goes well next uh, Thursday I'm gonna be having as my guest uh, uh, for a, just a chat uh, to I want to introduce you to you Vulcan will be appearing uh, Thursday on the Italian episode all the way from uh, for a quick hello from um, uh, LA and uh, I think I'm having as a special guest next Tuesday also another singer here from uh, Chadwick Johnson next Tuesday. Uh, I have to still uh, finalize the last details, but I think Chadwick will be my, my guest. He's a guy, they come, I think, from Arizona. He's a cowboy with a beautiful golden voice, a young, young performer that I do love. And I thought he, he, he has done this beautiful video about uh, kindness and uh, this new, new CD. And I thought, I want to have uh, uh, Chadwick Johnson to share his life story. He's an amazing gentleman. So, guys, buon appetito. I'm going to be seeing you. I'm going to see you on Tuesday. And, yes, the true color, true color video, true color video is almost ready. I think I'm doing it right. True. I know this is true. This is color. And this is video, video with a V, right, Diane, that is going to be on my YouTube. It's going to be ready in the next couple of days. Please download it, share it with everybody. We have to accept and be kind. And uh, it looks also like we have a new president. So welcome to Joe Biden as our elected president, I think they say. I didn't vote. So you guys did it. Happy or not happy, it's on you. Uh, I wish I wish him well. And, uh, I, you know, I always wish well to everybody. And also to also President Trump. I wish him well. Hopefully, hopefully everything is going to be good for everybody. What else, JG, did I forgot? I just see Mike Ferrante. We are watching too. I see Maestra Escuela. I think tomorrow is your birthday, Alejandra. So we're going to have some, um, some uh, birthday to... Uh, uh, celebrate tomorrow and I see Mary Gigante is asking yes you have to join me on my patreon page we are all there which is, here is the link uh, Mary Gigante uh, we miss you there it's patreon.com slash Giada Valenti it's a monthly monthly subscription and we do every Sunday I sing there I know you have been to so many of my concerts so you are gonna love it and enjoy it so guys back to me back to my uh, pasta with a yellow squash and uh, smoked bacon delicious and I also have, of course, my midnight kiss. I have everything. What do I need? Nothing. I'm going to see you Tuesday. Buona giornata. And I'll see you tomorrow on Patreon for music. Ching, ching. Bye. A domani. Mm. Delicious. Thank you for seeing me again. Though I'm here in my solitude, I know you are there, and in my heart I smile again. And so I sing here in my solitude, waiting to see you, same time, same place, and I can't wait to say again, Dankeschön, Dankeschön. Dankeschön dir.